Okay, so we're gonna be unboxing this keyboard. It's from Kinesis Gaming and it's called the TKO. I might be one of the first people to receive one of these. So let's just check what's inside. So we've got our TKO keyboard box right here. Remember we're doing a first impression and unboxing. So Kinesis Gaming, see it right there. This is the uh, date. So I got the uh, box red mechanical switches. That's what we saw earlier. We've got a side profile. We've got a kind of a profile of the keyboard printed on the box. So. Yeah, they're not uh, cutting corners on the presentation. So, -na 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 -na. we get to see what's inside. And first thing to say is the TKO is a tournament keyboard designed to be portable. So we've got this nice case that comes with it. Um, this is going to be. Let's see if we can bring it out. Oh, I was thinking that was going to happen. So, oh, it's pretty heavy. The keyboard is obviously inside here then. Uh, we've got a few bits and bobs, so ah, we'll get to this in a second. This is a space bar by the looks of it. These look like brown mechanical switches. This is the thing to change your keys. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yep, I do see something sticking on the side. Ah, yes, more mechanical switches. So we've got four of these. I did read up on this earlier, so uh, WASD, if you want to switch it around, it already comes uh with the boxer let's just put these to the side take the box away because now we get to the fun part don't we so here is the keyboard it's got this little logo at the front it actually feels pretty nice and let's unzip this so here it is Ooh. nice so we've got the keyboard it must be the USB C and A keyboard and sorry, the cable for the actual keyboard. Here it is. Actually, not that heavy. That's good. Nice and portable. And we'll get to this in a sec. Just notice, ah, oh, it's just a quick start guide. Ah, oh, yeah, it'll be handy. So, box got a little pouch as well. Nice and quite fresh. Let's just tuck that there. Let's have a look at this bad boy. So, all right, let's have let's plug it in because we'll see if it lights up. So it's frustrating watching people slowly do technological things, isn't it? So, let's plug it in now. It's gonna light up. Ooh, nice colors, and it's changing as well by default. Nice. Uh, so. Key things about this keyboard is it obviously it's length. That's the first thing that should stand out. So here is a more standard keyboard. We've got what we call a sixty percent because it doesn't have not only the numpad, which is often called ten keyless if it goes up to about here, but you know sixty percent. If you can see mathematically, it's much shorter. And the reason for that, besides portability, is say you're playing on a desk and you don't have that much space for your mouse, whereas I used to always have problems where my mouse would just bump it inside the keyboard and even click it sometimes and I will, you know, miss shoot or misclick and that's the game. But here will give you more space and I'm assuming that will stop you from doing having to do that angle of the keyboard to do the similar goal. So great, great. So we do notice that there are um, all these labels on the side here. So Yes, yeah, so all these keys that you're missing in an original keyboard, you can still get to with the uh, function key by the looks of it. And like I was saying earlier, the space bar is one of the most um, unique things about this. So instead of having the one space bar, you can actually, by the looks of it, bind these keys to something else. Could all be space bar if you want, or it could be something specific to a game you want to play. So. That's really it. I mean, I'm gonna play around with these functions. Um, and, oh yes, key thing, I almost forgot to say, what am I doing, Kev? Is that uh, Kinesis Gaming, obviously, uh, if you Google them, uh, you'll find that they're quite ergonomically minded. So, 
they've got these different things here, the big ones. Now obviously if you do them all, you just raise the keyboard, probably not what you want, but if you just do the top or the bottom, you'll get your slant if you need it. You can obviously go flat, which is nice because we actually like the nice flat keyboard. The keyboards that come often have an inbuilt slant, which might not be helpful for some people. And if you kind of want it to be kind of tilted to the left or right, maybe because your, your wrist here might have some issues, you can actually choose the left or right and play around with it. So they're pretty sturdy too. So that's nice. So we're gonna play around with this and maybe make another video on its further functions, but it is definitely looking a bit fun. Let's uh, have a click with the keys. Ah, beautiful.